Yes. What's up? Gang. What's up, Taurus? What's up, Bulls, baby? What's popping in the life of a bull for the month of August 2019? Are you guys in this energy of focus on your mother fulfillment? Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. This is your first time to my channel. Listen, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right now to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you. I still love you, but I'm going to do what I do, okay? Uh, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We only dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. <laughs> we laugh. We love. We grow. Evolve. Positive vibes only over here, okay? Mocha was taking a little self-love break, all right? So, that said, we gonna hop on up into it. Um, To the returning subscribers, hey, family. I miss y'all. Did you miss me? <laughs> I would like to thank everybody up front for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. The readings, I truly appreciate it. Um, a lot of things are getting ready to change because this girl is branding. So I will be up. You guys stay in tune with the community tab. We're going to get better about that. Also, if you haven't already, please feel free so I can feel uh, inspired to actually, because I suck at social media. So I want to be able to start updating my Instagram. So you guys can follow me on Instagram at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. Um, and, you know, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all now, I live. This life don't owe me shit. Nah. Don't owe me shit. So with that said, listen, I can only be real with y'all. I'm very transparent. So you my family family. Sometimes you may see me turn up. Sometimes you may. Because when I go on this motherfucking cruise in September to, to, to Mexico. Y'all gonna see me turn up, okay? Y'all might see this ass and this face. You're gonna see me turn up. Turn down for what? It's 2019 and I'm an Aries. We don't turn down. Some of y'all mad at us, I think. Just saying. I've been seeing it up in some of them readings and other readings and on other readings and stuff. Taurus, I love y'all. Hope y'all ain't mad at me. Okay. Oh, also, um, for those of you who may be wondering about this canvas, y'all, I can't, I, I've never really, I'm not going to say I can't because I'm working on that, but I've never really been artistic when it comes to painting and drawing. I, in fact, every art teacher I ever had changed my schedule for me, so, <laughs> but I, I, turns out that when I'm full, when I'm tipsy, I'm a little mini Picasso. I mean, you know, don't look at the fact that the lining on the, sh don't be a perfectionist. Because I did my best. And I think it was nice. So I had to share it with you all because, yes. So I did the, I don't want you to get close up because I don't, you know, Tori, y'all pay attention to detail. I don't got time for that. But it's pretty from up there. Let's rock. So we're going to get on up into your intuitive messages. <clears throat> Let me let puppy ass out of here. Hold on one second because I ain't got time for the Sagittarius and stuff. Look, puppy, you're not going to open my drink, pup, pup. Come on, baby. Come on. You got to go. Come on. Come on. You got to go. Thank you. Y'all, puppy something. <laughs> He's something, something. <laughs> okay. Into his messages for the month of August for Taurus. You guys, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Please take what does. Leave the rest. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. Okay? For you all, I got indecision, manipulator, hidden agenda, compromise, receptivity, rapid changes, throat chakra, Blessed beginnings, fear of the unknown, positive thoughts, acceptance, leap of faith, family ties, limited beliefs, value system, career change. Okay? Puppy, I'm not going to do this with you. Hey, 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 Mari, come get your dog, son. Come get your dog. Come get your puppy. Puppy, what you going to do? I think he going to stay. If he get to cutting up, you're going to have to come babysit. I ain't got time. Mm, puppy, puppy. Some of y'all got a Sagittarius coming in and out of your life. Okay. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the Ten of Hearts. Okay. Angel message for the month. You guys got sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Okay. This comes from Archangel Haniel. Okay. So some of you all, 
Some of you guys, there's a need for you all to get outside. Some of you all, you may be dreaming or being pulled to the element of water. It's about actually purification, healing, detoxification for some of you all, and also a flowing of your emotions, allowing your emotions to flow. Some of you all are having an issue with being receptive, opening up, and being vulnerable. This could be you or someone in your energy. Your angels do want you to know that you are protected. Some of you all also... Hmm. Some of y'all are being divinely guided to take action. Some of you all also may be in, some of y'all may be getting a massive download when it comes to being in nature. Some of you all also may be switching up your diet. You may be becoming a vegan in the month of August. Or at least trying to, y'all know y'all is greedy. Others of you, you may be thinking about opening up some type of some type of like shelter for animals. Some of y'all also may be wanting to be um, like environmentalist. Some of you all may take up some type of gardening hobby or maybe. I'm also getting the energy of harvest. It's a time of harvest for you all. Okay. Some of you all also have a mother figure. This could be, I'm here an aunt. Okay. For some of you all. Some of you have an aunt that could have passed over to the other side. You see how this woman is in this tree? Some of your, your ancestors want you to know that you are protected and you are divinely guided here, okay? Some of you all, there's a need for you guys to be, it's like you want love, but you have an issue with the trust factor around it. There's a fear of the unknown. You need to, you're needing to have more of an optimistic attitude towards every damn thing. Love, your money, your investments. There's this energy of being limited as if you don't deserve a certain aspect like someone has gotten used to like standing in the back and spirit is saying no fuck that line and let's pull you let's catapult you on up here after possibly leaving something behind okay so ultimately again this has to do with fulfillment for some of you all this also has to do with some type of renewal around families okay thank you spirit so let's see what's going on you bulls love life what's going on in the life of bull for the month of August month of August. Some y'all feel like y'all shit is all over the place when it comes to your love life. Okay. Some of you guys could be either making it one yeah. Some of you all are wanting to make an offer to start something very tangible and very, very, very stable. Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Or some of you guys could be getting an offer to start something new, possibly with the water sign. Others of you, this could have to do with your career as well. Some of y'all could be actually making an offer or making an investment or having someone actually want to invest into you with starting a business, okay? This could be someone who you could have cut off. This person really, I'm hearing this person really don't know how to come back. They have been watching you. They really don't know how to come back and, and they know damn well they can't come back empty handed to us, okay? Some of you all are wanting to reconcile with someone who could have cut you off or you could have cut this person off. For some of you all, you could have a ch child with this person, okay? Some of you all, there is going to be some type of reconciliation, possibly with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you. Um, this, I definitely feel like some of y'all, yeah. Some of y'all could be waiting to reconcile with someone or kind of... One second. This could be someone who you actually want, who, who you actually had some type of dwelling with in the past. So you could have actually had plans to either have children with this person if you don't have children with them already Taurus for some of y'all this have to do with this person wanting to come back and make an offer that they should. it's like I'm getting the energy of too little too late okay but I feel like this person if you if you take the if you take the reconciliation I definitely feel like it's going to be positive especially if you reconnect them possibly with the water and earth sign some of you guys if you're dealing with the uh, air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius some of y'all this person and some of y'all could be finding out that this person could have reconciled with somebody at the end of July. And you could be finding this out in August after you didn't cut out. Ooh, that's the worst one. Some of y'all, okay, and, and, and when I say hoes, I mean men and women can be hoes. I don't mean that in, in from a from a unrealistic place, okay? Some of y'all cut out, and I, what I call them my hoes, okay? This is, I'm from the South. So my booze that I, that, that I don't really boo, boo much with, they my hoes, okay? Because... 
I got, I'm the empress. I got one emperor and I ain't found him yet, but listen, okay. Um, I definitely feel like someone, somebody who could have thought the grass was greener or thought they could do better. Moving on to someone else. Now they want to come back to Taurus because Taurus is shining, okay? So you guys got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles here. So August looks to be a damn good month when it comes to your finances as well as matters of the heart. For some of you all, I'm definitely here. Renewal, renewal. So some of y'all, you could be reconciling. Yes, there you go. Some of y'all could be reconciling with possibly a water sign who you have children with. I feel like Taurus, you and this other, you, I feel Taurus wants to cut this shit off completely, but this person is being divinely guided to you to help you, assist you with opening up your heart chakra, Taurus. Because some of y'all, Taurus, because some of y'all are just closed completely the fuck off, okay? Some of you all are also wanting to make a love offer, okay, or receiving a solid offer possibly from a cancer. Or wanting to make an offer to a cancer. Others of you, this could have to do with the Pisces or Scorpio as well. Hmm. Well, there has been some type of deception in the past. Some of you guys are wanting to reconcile with someone who is pregnant. Who could have cut you off. Or you cut this person off. But there's a lot of love here. And I definitely feel that things are going to be moving forward. But what pre prevented things from moving forward in the past could have been another person as well as someone not wanting to be receptive, okay? Others of you, if you're dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person could be reconciling with someone who they have children with and offering a couple love or this person's baby mother, baby father, child's mother, child's father is coming in and I feel like this person is holding that to themselves. Some of y'all, you're dealing with someone or you could be juggling, okay? But you're getting out of this space. I don't even usually read reverse. So Spirit said, leave it. You're getting out of this space of feeling anxiety, you know, a feeling as if you have to look over your damn shoulders if something is coming, okay? I definitely feel like moving forward, you will be victorious, okay? This is going to be after completely walking away from something, okay? Some of you guys are juggling making a decision on if you want to offer someone something or not because you see them as someone who is a stable partner. You see them as someone who you can really build with here. You want to express your love. Maybe in the past you didn't open up to this person or this person didn't open up to you. But I feel like for some of y'all, this person had to cut another person out. And I feel like this person, they're wanting to give you this towards, but it's like they're making a decision on, you know, they know that they have to hurt another person in order to do that. This could be you or another person. But I see going forward after this transformation, okay, or some of you guys, this is about completely walking away from something <clears throat> and starting new. Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Leo, Cancer. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is here. If you're dealing with a fire sign and this has to do with the uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, I definitely feel like things are going to be moving very fast in the month of August, okay? Some of you guys could be moving away from a fire sign that wants to come in and out of your damn life, but they don't want to offer you anything solid because you have a solid offer here on the damn table. And others of you, I do see victory with the fire sign when moving forward, but it's going to take you and this person, because I feel like during this time, you and this person are both starting new and going into a new phase of your life, okay? I definitely feel that... um. You're moving forward, Taurus. You're moving forward. And there needs not to, there need to be not a fear around moving forward because ultimately you're the magician. Some of y'all are moving away from a damn Scorpio, Aries, um, uh, Gemini, okay? And focusing on working on yourself. Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Virgo as well. But some of you all, this is how to do just be focusing on your own damn life. Just really, really taking time to reflect life review over where you've been what it is that you want to invest in going forward okay i feel like no time is wasted time it just gave you enough time to figure out what the hell it is that you don't want all right so let's uh, clarify these majors spirit why is why is the magician here for taurus why is the magician here why is the magician here for taurus huh yes new start moving forward taurus you can have whatever you like okay some of you guys are moving past past issues, possibly with the fire sign, with the Gemini, okay? This looks like a transformation in a relationship as well, but this is going to be after leaving every everybody leave their holes in the past, okay? But I feel like some of y'all could have left all your little side pieces, all your holes, all your little dips in the past because you thought you was renewing something with somebody. But they did not tell you <laughs> that they had a backup plan, a plan B, all right? And unfortunately, somebody in this situation possibly didn't take their plan B in time. <laughs> they, they waited after those 72 hours, okay? And so because of that, 
But I feel like Taurus, some of you all may be in the space of being upset, but spirit allows you. This is a catalyst situation for you to release yourself because you didn't make the move to release your own damn self, all right? So there's a need to be accepting and allowing for the blue, for the beautiful things that's coming here. Taurus, you got the sun card. You got the devil. You got the world. You got the magician. You got aces in this bitch. You got chariots in this bitch. King of cups. Queen of pentacles. Listen, stability comes when you get numb to that bullshit. Learn from it. Don't take the hurt with you. Just take the lesson, baby. People come in your life for a lesson or a blessing. It's up to you what you allow them to be in your life. Whoa, okay. Too many. Why is the world caught here? Why is the world caught here for Tori? I definitely see some type of balance in here. You guys are finding compromise in a situation here. Possibly with the fire sign. Every still sad. Just a lot of fire and earth. A lot of earth and water in y'all shit, to be honest. But some of you all, some of you guys are resisting going into this new cycle. And you need to stop resisting and just allow things to just crumble. Things are crumbling to shit. Allow them to crumble. Because you got joy and happiness on the other side. All right? So it's another side of the game, Taurus. I bet you. I bet you. Some of y'all are welcoming in new children in the world. Congratulations. Smoker loves the kids. Sun card. Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? Yeah. Some of you all, you need to take take the new alpha, Taurus. It's coming from a damn Leo. Some of y'all, Scorpio, Cancer in the building. Aries, uh, Gemini in the building. Shit. Virgo in the building. Take the damn alpha. Take the new alpha. Some of you guys who are reconciling, uh, who are reconciling with someone, this person is coming up right this time. You just have to trust. And that could be, that could be the actual test this month. Trust. Allowing. Yeah. And some of you guys, <laughs> some of y'all, some of y'all trying to offer love to possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this person is offering love to you. But ultimately, some of y'all don't want to be with this person. I feel like some of y'all feel like this person is very controlling. And some of you guys just want to find some type of healthy, healthy compromise with this person because I'm hearing some of y'all have children with this person. Why was Seven of Swords here? Somebody sneak it. Okay, yeah. If you're doing with an air sign, this person could be talking to a water sign on the side, baby. This person could have children with the water sign, yeah. And finding this out, yeah. Things are going to be revealed to you. Like getting ready to shut. Look, like getting ready to be shined on the sneaky motherfucker who thought they was getting away from something. But this is only just to help you close the cycle out, okay? To walk away from something since you couldn't do it. Spirit say, okay, well, yes, let me help Taurus to walk away from this shit and go work on themselves, okay? Death to the. Death to everything that you once thought you knew about people, places, and things. A lot of y'all are restructuring during this time. Restructuring the value system. Restructuring the views around love. Hmm. Some of you guys, after cutting something off or walking away from something completely, okay, some of you guys, are again, are going to go in this space of hermit mode. Some of y'all is cutting off the damn Virgo or Virgo cutting you off for it. But it's only, it's only coming for a clearing. So that you can go into this new cycle because I definitely feel like, again, some of you guys, there's this focus. Some of y'all need to focus on what it is that you're trying to build, like truly what it is that you're trying to build. And focus on what it is that you're allowing that is clashing with what it is that you're trying to build. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune is here, Taurus, because abundance is coming once you close some shit out. Everybody ain't meant to eat with you. All right? So, overall energy. What's your best suggestion for Taurus and love in the month of August? Hmm. Yes. Okay, Taurus. Drop your motherfucking burdens. Drop them. Let them go. Let them go. Some of y'all may be seeing 1010, 333, 222, 444, a whole lot. Balance and expand. Balance comes. Balance comes with expansion. Expansion comes with stability. However, the balance comes with you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Ice queen. <laughs> yes. Okay. And for some of you all, yeah, you got to let it go to get what you want. Releasing. Some of y'all are releasing a fire sign. Others of you are releasing a water sign. Some of you guys, your wishes is in this water sign. Others of you, this is about this fear around making an offer. Don't be afraid. The worst a person can say is no. But for every no, there's billions of other motherfuckers in the world 
Fuck. <laughs> More chances on it. Yes. So listen. Don't get me started. I'm Aries. Y'all know we interested. Outcome. You get what you wanted. A passionate new beginning. For others of you, this is about that damn investment. That damn it hurt. That that check hurt. That check. That check you've been waiting on. It comes through once you let a motherfucker go. Cause that's what the fuck they still sitting there for. Period. Okay. So y'all, this was juicy. If you need a personal reading, y'all hit me up. I pray that this resonates with some of you all. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what's tea, honey. But until I see you again mid-month, bye, y'all. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The more heads I get, the more inspired that I get. I suck at social media, so we in the building phase because I just decided after a whole year of, you know, I just decided that I was going to make an Instagram page because I wanted to be able to go live, you know, in more than one place because sometimes when I take my little self-care breaks, y'all be missing me. So why not? So that would also inspire me to do weekly readings on, um, I'll probably do them all together. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They're gonna be all signs at one time because this girl got a life. I'm a single mama. And I'm a, a very, very, very successful businesswoman. And with that said, y'all, listen, <laughs> we growing. We is growing. But with that said, I ain't really got time like that. So because of that, you guys definitely follow me over on Instagram um, so that I can find, kind of feel inspired to do Monday, you know, do readings on either Sunday or Mondays um, of just kind of checking in with everybody at. So that way, if I ain't came, if I'm late, if I'm running late over here, then you can get over there. Just You won't lose. So I see you guys <laughs> on the other side. I love y'all.